In this video, we will learn about Edward syndrome, also known as trisomy 18, caused by the presence of an extra copy of chromosome 18. This is a rare but severe chromosomal disorder. It is the second most common autosomal trisomy seen in live births after trisomy 21, which is Down syndrome. Trisomy 18 is significantly more severe than Down syndrome, but less severe compared to trisomy 13. The condition is rare, occurring in about 1 in 6,000 to 8,000 live births, and it is more common in females than in males. Unfortunately, most fetuses with this condition don't survive to birth, with 95% dying in utero. Among those born alive, 90-95% to die within the first year of life due to severe complications involving multiple organ systems. Now let's talk about why this happens. Edwards syndrome occurs because of a genetic error during cell division, resulting in an extra chromosome 18. Normally, we have two copies of each chromosome, but in this condition, there are three. The karyotype for females is 47, double X, plus 18, and for males, it is 47, XY, plus 18. This chromosomal abnormality leads to a wide range of physical and developmental issues. The risk of having a baby with trisomy 18 increases with advancing maternal age, similar to other trisomies like Down syndrome. The clinical features of Edwards syndrome are striking and distinctive. One of the hallmark signs is clenched fists with overlapping fingers, which is often picked up during a prenatal ultrasound. Other notable features include micrognathia, or a very small jaw, a prominent occiput, which is the back of the skull, and low-set ears. These features, along with severe intellectual disability, are characteristic of this syndrome. Babies with trisomy 18 also have rocker-bottom feet, which means the soles of their feet are convex with a prominent heel. Congenital heart defects are common and include conditions like ventricular septal defect, atrial septal defect, and sometimes even patent ductus arteriosus. There are also abdominal wall defects, like omphalocela, where abdominal organs protrude out of the body through the umbilical area. In addition to these, babies with trisomy 18 often have microcephaly, or a small head, malformed ears, and a high arched palate. Many also present with diaphragmatic hernia, which allows abdominal organs to push into the chest cavity, impairing lung development. Kidney malformations, including horseshoe kidneys, are frequently observed. Together, these abnormalities make survival very challenging for these infants. Diagnosing Edwards syndrome typically begins with prenatal screening tests. In the first trimester, we look for low levels of free beta HCG and PAPPA, as well as increased nuchal translucency, which is the thickness of the back of the fetal neck. In the second trimester, the quadruple test shows reduced levels of alpha fetoprotein, estriol, and human chorionic gonadotropin. Inhibin A may be normal or slightly reduced. An ultrasound may reveal growth restriction, heart defects, clenched fists, or rocker bottom feet. A definitive diagnosis is made through karyotype analysis, which confirms the presence of the extra chromosome 18. Sadly, the prognosis for Edwards syndrome is very poor. Most babies do not survive beyond their first year due to complications involving the heart, kidneys, and lungs. Only about 5 to 10 percent of live-born infants make it past 12 months, and even those who survive have significant physical and developmental challenges. Management is primarily supportive, focusing on providing comfort and addressing any immediate medical issues, but most interventions are palliative rather than curative.